Hi guys, welcome to Tango and Racket Tutorials. Today we are going to be navigating in Trivago and we are going to show you how to get the best deals out of it. So the first important thing to know about Trivago is that you are not going to book hotels or anything with them directly. Trivago is a meta searcher, so he's going only to look for the best deals in other sites. As you can see here, he's going to be looking around Booking, Expedia, Hotels.com, Verbo, Trip, Priceline, etc. So, saying this, the first thing that you can see here on the top right is that you can choose the language. So, in our case, we are going to English version. And we prefer to use Euro currency. Then you can log in here, as you can see. In our case, we are going to use our personal account. And once that we are already logged in, as you can see, the homepage is very easy, very user intuitive, because there is only one thing that you can do here, that is search. Of course, now we are going to be focusing on the hotels, but as well, you can book cars, flights, and even packages. This is not going our main focus today, so let's go to the hotel. Let's say that we want to look for a flight to New York. So here we will need, as always, to put when we want to depart. In this case, we can depart on 24th, and we are going to return on February, let's say, 8. And only one person is traveling. So now we are going to have all the results here, on the left side of the screen. On the right, you will have a map describing all the places and the hotels, so you can easily know where is located a specific hotel that you like. Then, in order to filter a little all these results, if you see on the top, in the middle, we can set up a price per night average, so we can shorten this down to, let's say, 100 a night. Almost there. Then we can say that we only want hotels, we don't care about house and apartments. We are looking for a good guest rating, so, 75 and above city center will live like this and then we see there are many other filters in this case we are not really interested in any of that ones so maybe air conditioner we are going to flag that and three and four and five star hotels having done this then we can sort all the results but some of these filters, it could be distance, price, rating, distance, and recommended. In our case, we prefer price only. And now we have all the prices sorted by the lower and going above. And let's say that we like this hotel, Pot Times Square. As you can see, you have the option in this particular room to get it from hotels, Expedia, and many others. And it's telling you that Expedia is the cheapest of all of them. And for 15 nights, we are getting this final price. So, if you want to see the deal, as you can see, we can click here, and we are going to be redirect to, not to Trivago, but to Expedia. And as we were mentioning at the end of the day, the deal is going to be paid to Expedia and not to Trivago. So the only good point that we like about Trivago is that you can make a search and start to have an idea the price of that room, not in one place, but in many. So with using that as a baseline, then you can start to dig up a little bit more and find a room in the particular site that has the most beneficial price. Overall, this is not very difficult site to use. It's also true that you will not get the best deals here because there is not going to be any discount or coupon applied. So it's good to start your search, but then it will be most useful to go to the particular company that is selling that ticket and see if you are a registered user, if you can apply to some sort of reward program, discounts or something that it makes the price more attractive to you. 
And the other thing that we don't like about Trivago is that, for example, here we know, we all know Expedia, we all know Hotels.com, but some other times the companies that are selling the tickets are not that, uh, they are not that known in the market and it could deal with some issues at the moment of booking. So let's try it always to keep it in the companies that you know, the ones that are known in the market and the most of the customers use. Try not to go and try to avoid the ones that nobody knows about and they are pretty new in the market. So guys, this is all about Trivago. It's a pretty much easy platform to use. As we said, it's not that you are going to get the best deals out of it, but it's good to start to have an idea where to look for them. So if you like the video, please subscribe and like it. Share it as well if you really love it. And if you have some question or comment, please don't hesitate to leave it in the section below. Also, don't forget to visit our blog. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon again. Bye.